Hey everyone, I had a really strange dream because my dad woke me up and stood at the door for five minutes saying, Wake up, wake up, don't fall back asleep. Now I don't remember my dream. Thanks, Dad. I'm sorry. I put him. He was crawling around, so I put him down. Well, I didn't know if you were trying to take a picture, or oh, no, you wanted is, me to pick one up. I wanted to up, show but... the one that's upside down. It's really cute. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Dad. Nice. Okay, so we went to the reptile show, as you saw, because you saw the hedgehogs. I didn't get one, because Dad didn't have the money, even though he said he would get me one this month. I have to wait until next month, which I guess it's alright, because he still refuses to even get me a cage for it, and I can't have him without a cage. Um... It was really cute. I didn't want to put him back. I really wanted that hedgehog, but I'm sitting in the van now. And Dad and Evie ran into Target. Something creepy just happened. I locked the doors, and they got out. The door, the back door, was still open, but it locked all the doors. And then they shut the door, started walking away, and I heard the locks lock again. This isn't normal. It's never done that before. It's kind of creepy. It reminds me of when we used to have the Saturn, the little car, and um, I was sitting in the parking lot, probably at Target, <laughs> I don't remember, and <clears throat> I was sitting in the car and the like air vents turned on, but the key wasn't even in the car. My mom had taken the, taken the key with her. It was so creepy because it just started, it wasn't like, I don't know, I don't know what it, what caused it, but it did that. And I told my parents and they didn't believe me. Of course, you know, who ghosts, what do you think, the car's haunted? I'm like, no, I'm just saying, something weird happened. And then it happened again, but they still didn't believe me because nobody was there. And then there was one time when it happened when dad was in the car. And then all of a sudden, oh my god, it's an electrical thing, the car's gonna catch fire. <laughs> so, yeah. They don't believe me until they see it, but I guess that's the way a lot of things go, because then they're... But then after then they couldn't say, ooh, ghosts, because it's not. It was most likely an electrical thing, because there was so much wrong with that car. <sighs> Ugh. So, I left there. That Target, waiting for them to get out, even though they just went in. I'm like, come on. We're supposed to be going back to Grandma's so we can eat. Because I have food there. I got noms last night and frozen noms to warm up in the microwave. It's like, ew, frozen noms. But they're really good. I love them. I love them very much. So, next on the list, or the agenda, is, well, you know, my list of things that I still need to get before I can get the hedgehog. I need the cage which I'm supposed to be getting the 10 gallon tank that the um, moon crab is in. There's only one, because if you remember, the one that's alive dismembered the other one. Um, you need the cage, one of those screen toppers, either the flat one or the bendy one, either one. The little locks to hold the top on so that he can't escape, because I don't want him escaping because it's a rodent and grandma would freak out and might step on it or something. I don't want that. Um, I don't want him escaping. Um, and I need bedding, which you cannot use cedar for it because there's like chemicals and stuff in there that's really bad for them. Um, the websites say do not use the um, paper stuff, like the shredded floofy paper bedding because they could try to eat it and choke on it. Um, there's pros and cons of, like, all the bedding. She uses horse pine, is what she called it. And I guess she gets it from Tractor Supply, so we'll have to go see how much that'll be. Because she said something about 
buying a whole bale of it. I don't know if I'm gonna come home with a whole bale of like hay. <laughs> is the bedding, but so yes, this this is going on. Just figured I'd let you guys know. I didn't really vlog much because you already saw the whole thing, All, like the expo, and it's mo it was mostly the same people. Oh, I did get this. It's um upside down. It's supposed to be for sugar lighters, but which people think are like the like flying squirrels, but they're sugar gliders. And but I figured it would work to carry my hedgehog home in when I get him. Sorry, I accidentally hit you against the window. Hope that didn't hurt. Um, I'm gonna turn it into a purse, like a longer shoulder strap, so that I can carry him around with me. So that's about it. And I'm gonna work on a bracelet a little bit because I'm bored. Unless they're coming back, but I don't see I'm sorry, I need to keep you away from the window. So, yep, that's about it. And I will vlog more later when there's something more exciting to talk about. So my friend posted a status talking about her little girl. <clears throat> and, oh, she's not, what is she, like, five, six now, maybe? And she's talking about a boy at school <clears throat> and she's like well I broke up with him he's not my boyfriend anymore cuz I broke up with him and she and everyone was laughing cuz it's so cute and she goes well he didn't want to be my boyfriend anyway so I told him I would break up with him and so I commented I said you ooh, you go girl show him he can't play with your emotions <laughs> and my friend told her little girl this and she laughed and she says I am way cool she is she is one of the coolest little girls that I've ever known Guess what? Today is John Rubin's birthday. The Christian rap artist John Rubin. So happy birthday to John Rubin today. I think I want to start editing yesterday's vlog now, even though I was supposed to like an hour ago. I unplugged my speakers so I could plug my headphones in. But they're way over there on the other side of the room. I don't want to get up. Dear computer, how come you won't keep feeling like you're overheating? You are so warm. You have a cooling pad. Why don't you cool? Cool down! Why is there a shiny heart on my floor? So today I pestered a couple people. I was like, hey, I noticed that you watch my friend's vlogs. I was wondering if maybe you'd be interested in checking out mine as well. I always feel so awkward when I do that. I haven't, I don't do that a lot. Because, you know, I don't want to like feel like I'm bothering people, but I did a little bit, and two people actually said that they would check him out, and one of them is um, this British guy, which I felt really bad afterwards because I was like looking at this stuff, and I looked at the username, and I thought it was like two people, but then it turns out that it was his last name, and <laughs> I was like, ah! So I felt bad, but it's cool, and he's got a British accent, so this is definitely very fun to watch, because I love the British accent, I always have. So, thank you to the Nick Ashley Daily for answering my silly little message and for talking to me. <laughs> I very much appreciate it. So, Nick's talking about milestones and stuff, how he hit his milestone of wanting 200 subscribers. And I wanted to say that earlier today, I hit my milestone that I had set, that I said I wanted 50 subscribers by, you know, this weekend, and I did hit that. And I thought that was really awesome, so thank you very much to everybody who has subscribed, and if you haven't yet and you're watching this, please, please do. It means the world to me, it really does. My next milestone is 75, so, you know that? Not huge things, just, you know, up by a little bit, so I'm going to see how long it'll take. And when I hit that, I'll let you guys know. At least the weather's back to normal. Let's hold the camera like Keaton Corey does. I don't really get it, though, because my button... Well, I can't really show you. Maybe. Here. Let's see. 
Okay, there. <laughs> Your record button is right here, so it's difficult for me to press record and angry. Get back on the wall. Yes, I don't even know why I'm vlogging. Hi. <laughs> oh, this is a new one. The checker one. Yeah. Walked back into my room and it smells like cinnamon stuff. Like Christmas smells. The only thing that I ever spray in here is my uh, eucalyptus spearmint because it's my stress relief aromatherapy that my grandmother, my gra grandmama, grandma bought me. What the crap? I just killed a flying ant in my bedroom. And there's like two inches of snow outside. What? Bunny, you want some pop? <laughs> You can't pull that thing through it, you know. See, it'll be like that. Oh, please. <laughs> <Hey>, Whoa! <buddy. laughs> well, that's as far as it's as far in as it's gonna get, you know. Or you can get it that far in. That you can tell how much it is on the thing there. The guy across the street's shoveling. Dad's shoveling, sort of. Yep. It's definitely January. You guys kept asking about my Hello Kitty headphones. I got them at Toys R Us, but Walmart's got them. And they have the fuzzy headband too, so. There's not different varieties unless you want Monster High, but they have them if you want them. And they're cheaper than what I paid for them too. Oh, it's those dogs. This is the one that I won, he's so cute. You wiener dog. Evie, hmm. I choose you. Say <laughs> <laughs> all. It's very much snowing outside. I was covered in snow and now I'm all wet. And Evie says that one hit her in the eye or something and Dad's like, oh, we gotta sue Walmart now. Because it's their snowflake. Oh, no property. Go on. Go. Go. <laughs> Go. <laughs> uh. Go. I'm reading. <laughs> Oh well, do bad. Go. Evie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look at the lion. Aww. What are we going to do for dinner? Because I want to get going. Eat a lion. Eat the lion. Eat the lion. I don't care, what are you what the heck? It's that thing. What's for dinner tonight? Pants. I, mean, I think it was also creepy. The thing just tried to punch you in the butt. <laughs> you moved your butt. See? <laughs> that thing's creepy too. I think that's funny here. Let's see if we hit this first. <laughs> She's laughing about it. She likes 
it. <laughs> oh, she can blow kisses. <laughs> How about that thing, Ned? Oh, like hey, guys. <laughs> I'm angry. Every time the microwave is on, my internet gets screwed up. Okay, so the Mexican enchilada, whatever crap that I got, was disgusting. I threw it out, and I made myself a pot pie. So now, I just pulled it out, so now I'm waiting for it to cool off so that I can eat it without burning my tongue. Because I always rush into it, I'm like, I want to eat it now, and then it's really hot, and then my tongue's like, oh. So yeah, I'm waiting. And waiting. And waiting. I'm trying, I'm watching a movie, it's called Tulet. Apparently it's part of this like six film series, they're all Mexican. It's really, really strange and I've been trying for the last five minutes to get up to get tape. And I can't seem to tear my eyes away from it, it's crazy. What the heck? My. Um, if you have the ability to watch it, do. It's on Netflix. It's called Too Let. Weird. So for some reason, a lot of times, you won't focus properly. Even though there's something clearly obvious to focus on, you're just like, no, I'm not going to focus. And it's driving me nuts. Focus properly! Well, I'm not going to have it go rolling for that long. Hey guys, I'm on webcam with my boyfriend. There. He won't sit still, but that's him. Um, it's almost one in the morning. I'm going to say goodnight because I just remembered I need to po post my Project 365 photo, which is on your memory card, and I don't want to remove your memory card, so I'm going to say goodnight, and he's laughing at me. I'll have to smack him later, and <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful night slash morning slash whatever it is, wherever you are, and I will see you in the morning. Good night.